I see. Got the other shirt on, baby. Get your merch, K. Okay? Go to www.mybeargangbaby.com. Go there and get your merch, man. Hey, you won't be disappointed, okay? Uh, support the movement, by the way, man. Uh, appreciate all the love and support, and let's keep this thing rocking, man. So, uh, just like that, man, you guys see the walk around, okay? So, you know what the video is about to be about today. Today, today the video is about the SRTA, baby. Ah, uh, been contemplating, like I told you guys in my previous videos, man. Uh, been really thinking about uh, making some changes, man, and uh, since the video, I mean, not since the video, but, you know, since I created my channel and everything, you know, I've been wanting to do some things, like maybe uh, change up some things, and uh, one of the things I've been thinking about changing up, man, is uh, my car game, okay? Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love both my cars, okay? But uh, as you can see, what I'm about to go into is that uh, I'm really debating about... Uh, getting rid of the SRT8, man. I love my baby, and uh, this thing has been uh, pretty uh, fun, you know what I mean? Like, I done had it for about four years. So, it's it's been pretty fun, man. I've been enjoying it, but I'm thinking about upgrading. Not really upgrading to... I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not really thinking about upgrading up to another sports car, okay? Because uh, I got my bloody cat, you know, the Hellcat. I got that so main mainly really what I want to do is I want to go up into a, a truck like a pickup you know um, I'm not sure what kind of pickup I want to go into I'm kind of pushing more towards I'm kind of pushing more towards a Dodge because I like the way Dodge setup is inside inside their vehicles I, that's what I like I like the U-Connect that's one of setup the whole dash setup on on dodge just no matter if it's a dodge pickup a dodge durango or you know the hellcat or the srt8 so i've been debating heavy lately on getting rid of the srt8 man um i don't know it's just like i don't i right now i don't see the purpose no more of having Six four 
milliliter, I know in this one, they made it to where you got fuel reduction, you know what I mean? So like it tries to save fuel economy for you and it goes into eco mode. Well, when it goes into eco mode, what it does is, and you can tell when you're driving it, you'll be cruising, so you cruise at about like 60 miles an hour, okay? So you're cruising, whatever speed you're cruising at, if once you're at a steady speed and you ain't gassing it or nothing, it's gonna go into eco mode. So when it goes into eco mode, what it does is it drops the cylinder. So instead of it using the eight cylinders to run, it drops it down to four cylinders. So what happens is, well, what had happened was, is when it drops the cylinders, those uh, rollers for the rockers, they go into like a flotation mode. So they like just sit there and they float. Well, sometimes what happens is when they float, sometimes they get stuck. And then when it goes the time you kick it back in the drive, you know, or you know, you kick it back in the gas to go faster now. Now it's going back to using the main cylinders. Well, what happens is when you use the main cylinders, then it it comes down and the one that gets stuck, instead of it moving, it just is stuck there. And so when the cam comes up and scrapes the cam and once the cam swiped like that the cam is no good you're pretty much gonna have to get a new cam because the clearances is like minute so it's got to be everything's got to be like fine real fine okay so that's what happened to this and I how I noticed is that like before I got a check engine light and stuff it was just like ticking like the tick noise you know like a Hellcat and and the SRT8, they kind of got like a little tick to them when you hear them running. But it was like an abnormal ticking noise from what I was used to hearing. So I'm like listening to this noise. I'm like, God, something don't sound right. And you know, so I checked the oil level and the oil level was fine. So I'm like, okay, what what could it be? So I'm sitting there and thinking, I'm like, you know, I assume that when it happened, if it was bad, something bad that like it'll throw the check engine like well it didn't throw it right away so anyways my lady was driving the car one day she calls me up she's like yeah the, she's like, the car's running kind of rough and, and it's got a check engine light so i'm like what the hell so i get the car i get she gets home i get the car i drive it and i tried to like give it some gas and the thing didn't want to go at all so i'm like yeah something's wrong with this so I ended up taking the car up to the dealership. And now, mind you, okay, see, my lady's car, hers had the same issue. But, see, with the Dodge, hers is a 14. And it has the... It has the six, six years, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So, hers was covered. Well, with the sports, when you go up to, the, like, the RT, well, these, the, the scat packs, the... The ones with the more, you know, power, they, uh, there's 60,000 mile power, or five years, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. So, at the time of when this happened, it was, I just, like, I, like, I mean, like, when I tell you guys, I was like, just like, maybe a month out of my warranty, right? So, I'm assuming, like, all right, I'm out of the warranty by a month. Maybe they'll work with me and they'll cover it. No, 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 no. So I end up paying three thousand eight hundred and like I think it was like eight hundred and twenty-seven dollars, whatever, to get it repaired because obviously at the time that was my main vehicle. So that's one of the big things about this car too that I don't like. And now right now it's got a two-year unlimited miles. So I got it done maybe I want to say maybe like six months ago. And uh, right now it's running fine. And, you know, for the two years, it's covered if it was to happen again. But then when they go out of those two years, it ain't covered no more. So these are the things I've been thinking about, man, and uh, while I'm contemplating moving into something different like a truck. Um, more so, I, another reason why I want a truck, man, is just like sometimes we move big shit for my house and like you know getting stuff out of the house changing beds whatever whatever it is we may do some type of stuff
stuff is like stuff like I need a truck for. So I'd like to have a truck I've been thinking about and you know where I'm going with it. So uh, just drop some comments below. Let me let me know what you guys think about the SRT and what you guys think I should do. I know you guys probably not gonna want me to get rid of it. You know what I mean? Like levels to it, okay? You know what I mean? Like I had goals to get an RT. I got the RT, then I was like, ah, I want the SRT8. And then, you know, I kept going and it's just keep striding and keep striding and I strided for the SRT8, I got it, okay? Then long shot was the Hellcat. So I was like, man, I tried before, it didn't work. Tried again, still didn't work. They just want the numbers they wanted to put me at. It was just like, I'm not going to no thousand dollars. I'm not going close to a thousand dollars on a car payment, okay? So, if I ain't going close to a thousand dollars on a car payment, you guys know that my car payment on that Hellcat is nowhere. Well, I won't say nowhere near, but it's far from a thousand dollars, okay? So, with that being said, man, I went. I kept trying to go for the SR, for the Hellcat once I, when I had this, and it just wasn't it wasn't working out. So, you know, maybe that was a sign from God that was like, just it's not, not the time. Just wait on it. Be patient. Okay, so I was I stayed patient, just waited on it. And then I finally just something in me seek said go seek that opportunity. So I did, and there it went, baby. I popped up with the Hellcat, man. So you know I kept working hard and I kept striving for it, and it happened. So now it's like this is, you know, this is more of a, a, a like a attachment as far as like my love, my passion so much into this I've done a lot of things to it just as far as like you know the modification stuff that I've done to it so with all that man it's just like it's hard to want to let go on it you know because I didn't do all this type of stuff to my RT more so because I really didn't want the RT I really wanted a SRT8 but you know you got to you got to, like I said when I first started this you got to take baby steps man and then, then you just continue to gradually grow and grow and get bigger you know what I mean so with all that being said man yeah this is that's what the video is about man you know get throw out some options of what you think I should go into as far as a truck what other kind of trucks you think are out there that you know would give a Dodge a run for its money you know not we ain't talking about speed wise because because I'm not looking for the Dodge for speed okay I'm just more so want something big something I can pick stuff in and haul stuff if I need to okay so uh, just comment below let me know man and uh I appreciate all the comments you know I always like to hear what your guys feedback is because sometimes that changes my my opinion and, you know sometimes it changes the way I'm looking at something it makes me more interested in doing something different so uh just like that, man, I want to say thank you, and I appreciate all the love, support, man. I gladly appreciate all my fans, man, all the support, all the subscribers, man, and all my Barrett gang, okay? So, uh, you know what I'm going to say, man, and just like that, we out.